This first knot is called the four in hand. Size up your necktie draped over your shoulder, giving yourself a little bit more length. Cross the wide end over the narrow portion and then wrap it behind and around the front. You will then bring it up back through towards the collar, like so, and then down through the loop. Usually I'll open the pocket up with one finger and then I'll pull it almost in reverse, which allows me to keep tension on the knot and help pull it through and then it'll flip out once it's all the way through. You can then keep the knot tight, pull the wider portions while cinching it down, and dress to what you feel will look appropriate. Then cinch the knot up into your collar from there. The Half Windsor. Take the wide portion, wrap it over the top of the skinny portion of the tie, and then bring it up around the skinny portion of the tie closest to your collar. You'll then loop it around underneath and then around the front similar to the four in hand and then you want to dress it a little bit as you bring it up back through the loop that you've just created and then you'll pull it down down through the front opening cinching it as you're going and pulling it all the way through I'm struggling a little bit but you can see we'll get it out just a second. There. Now I kind of open up at the top, dress the knot up, and then pull the portion forward and up. That is the half Windsor. I tied that one a little bit short, but you get the picture. The full Windsor. Give yourself a little bit more room than you did with the previous two knots. This requires more material. Take the wide portion over the top of the skinny portion and bring it up through closest to the collar, similar to what you did with the half Windsor. Now you're going to bring the knot back around and to the opposite side you're going to wrap that up and around on the other part of the necktie closest to the collar. Then once you have that little triangle formed you're then going to wrap it around the front and then up through the center and then down through that portion similar to what we did with the little loop. Like I said, you want to give yourself plenty of room with this knot because it does require a good bit more material. I then dry the dress the knot up, tighten it, etc., and then form that triangle at the top that's nice and wide. As you can see, I tied this way too short, but you get the basic gist of how to tie that portion of the knot.